What's going on, Joe fans? Mr. 1013 here with another review. This time we're going to check out GFI, uh, G.I. Joe Classified Series Alley Viper figure number 34 in the Classified 6 inch series. Let's get into it. One of my favorite, favorite troops from back in the day was Alley Viper, and I'm glad he was so early into the Classified Series because we get so much detail and, and just the six inch glory <laughs> of the figure now alley viper again was like one of my favorite true builders but the yellow and black alley viper was probably my favorite colorway the orange and blue i love it i love the aesthetics of the character but when they dropped that yellow and black one i was like all right he's i bought one it was like all right he's the leader of my alley vipers the orange and blue are like the rest of the troops. They're, they're the rest. So if they come out with a black and yellow variant, I definitely got to get that colorway as well. But let's jump into Alley Viper 6-inch series. Very, very great update. Very true to the original. Not too hard to mess them up. <laughs> this is a great, great figure. As we get close in, we get uh, some detail of the figure. I'm loving it. Just a moment of silence as we appreciate the Alley Viper. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at um the figure. So head does a full 360. We got some great articulation. We got the up and down on there. This piece does come off and is on a um, peg system. So let's take a look at the figure eyes menacing you know what i mean you can't get that too too wrong um, wrong but look at the detail in the mask it's just not like a solid blue um piece of plastic they put some detail into the mask you see the creases in the mask you see like the texture in the mask awesome and it's like this blue is is, is really popping off the orange so very great paint apps real clean cobra insignia at the top looking at the visor we have um a very nice very clean this is this is a real it's not a real thick piece of plastic, so be careful. It is a little bendy, but it does have some design on it, some little texture on there, which works for me. We can pop that right back on, peg, and peg, perfect. And that does flip up. Um, going into articulation, he does have the vest on, so doesn't hinder any of the arms, so arms do go up. Um, we got the shoulder uh, pivot, we got the bicep twist, we got the double jointed elbows, we have the no no forearm swivel, but we do have a hinged wrist and it twists. Perfect. Legs go out, thigh twist, double jointed knees, boot swivel, ankle pivot and turn as far as the, I'm pretty sure the abs can crunch under here but with this vest on you are not getting anything you can <laughs> this this vest is totally hindering any ab crunch that's on under uh, the vest so there you have it let's get into some alley vipers accessories of course, we have the amazing Alley Viper shield. What would Alley Viper be without this shield? Very nice molding on here. Very nice detail. We have, yeah, this is this is really good. This is really good. Nice steel plated. You can see the the texture, and you can see everything. Just oh, the detail is great. As we're looking on the back of it again, great detail on the back. Um, we have a very nice wrist holster forearm holster we have the screen on the back now that, that was one thing i always wondered like <laughs> this is solid on the front and but we had this on the back so what type of technology cobra is using i don't know but i like that they did add the detail on there that works for me so we definitely had the alley viper shield all black alley viper backpack and if I had the original Alley Viper, I think this is the exact mode of the backpack. Now, if I recall, I think this is the exact mode of the backpack, but just in larger form. If you can confirm that for me in the comments, that'd be great. But I think this is like the, if it's not, it's, it's really close to it. So Alley Viper does come with a whole bunch of weapons. Um, 
Very nice tactical shotgun. Come on with it. Very nice shotgun. Loving that. Loving the detail on it. Can this come out? Nope, that is on there. So no removable scope. As far as I can. Nope, that's on there. No removable scope. Has a pistol. Also has. Now he has some great. Before we get into those. <laughs> we have two. Like knives. There we go. And these here. Oh man. We have this. It looks to be like a submachine gun, but then if you add, does this go in here? Let me see. We what are we working with? Or does this go in the wait, I believe this goes in the shotgun. Does this go here? Harpoon. I said shotgun. <laughs> I said shotgun, but definitely this is a harpoon gun. That is dope. Very nice, very nice. There we go. Very nice. We have that. So now let's get back into those submachine guns. So we have a very nice submachine gun here. Scope does not come off, but the clip does come out. There we go. Clip does come out. So that's very nice. Again, the... the the way we have just like these extra extra little details in the weapons are magnificent and then we have this weapon as well removable clip place it back in good to go scope is solid on there can't remove the stock or anything um it's a peg hole there but i just think that's for detail i don't think we can add anything on to that as well so with that being said, let's get back into the Alley Viper. Let's try to put his accessories on. Backpack fits perfect. We have the knife holster on the side. I believe that goes right in there. Perfect. Um, let's see. The shield now. Let's see how well this will work. Or should it go this way? We can first. There we go. So it does go in there. And I think, would it go through here as well? Kind of all over the place with the um, figure. Sorry about that, just trying to get on there. So I believe you could just either put this hand through here there you go i think the plastic on the the holster is pretty forgiving so yeah you have some have some leeway on there so you can get the shield on there and then wow there he is there it is let's take a look at the box art real quick this is some very nice box art for ali viper you can get these posters on either gi joe.com or hasbro Dot com somewhere along the lines. I'll try to get that information for you guys, but this is a very nice I like the way they did this. Um, I don't know the artist. That's something I might have to start including but um, Very nice box art. Um, none of them come with file cards anymore, which is unfortunate um, They all just you know, they just add the all the figures that they released on the back of the uh, boxes now but very dope uh, Art I'm, I'm looking to have like some of these posters put up once I get back in the official space where I'll be doing reviews. It's temporary right now. Um, but we had to get these reviews out. But here is Ali Viper in all its glory. I am completely satisfied with this figure. Perfect update to the original Ali Viper. 10 out of 10 for me. I'm loving the 6-inch classified series line so far. I like the route that they're going. And I'm like that we're getting like a lot of original figures and troop builders. So until then, until the next review, I appreciate you guys hanging out. 
This has been the review of G.I. Joe Classified Allen Viper number figure number 34 in the Classified series. I'll catch you guys on the next review. Until then, peace.